Consumers have more than ever an increasing interest in certain health topics. They are not only motivated by the current economic situation, but rather by sustainable, long-lasting trends. These trends are, people eat more and more calories, they eat more unhealthy, and especially within economically challenged times, they are stressed and don't have time to eat healthy. That is where new concepts for functional and healthy food become important. We offer the ingredients to make exactly those concepts come true, better and more healthy energy, improved fat oxidation, and tooth-friendly non-karyogenic products. Doing so, we want to assist in coping even better with a busy everyday life. Crucial is the scientific testing. The test is called a pH telemetry test and gives the answer to the question, what is really happening on the tooth enamel and tooth surface? The idea behind the tooth-friendly sugar is that we are now able to transfer the concept that the consumer already knows from chewing gums and candies to a completely new segment, beverages. It is the first time that tooth-friendly beverages are available on the market. This is only made possible by a sugar that is fully digestible, but at the same time kind to the teeth. And that is exactly the secret behind the very special characteristics of the drink. In a nutshell, oral bacteria and microorganisms that we all have in our mouths are confronted with a sugar that they can't use as food. This means that they can't split it up and therefore can't convert the sugar into teeth-harming acid. There is no acid production. Well, to come to the second secret, you could say that beverages sweetened solely with high-intensity sweeteners and a necessary high pH value should be produced to avoid harmful substances. You could do so but will face another challenge. High-intensity sweeteners have no taste within products having a very high pH value but are kind to the teeth. They taste flat and have no mouth sensation. You must add a mask-giving substance, a criteria for tooth-friendly beverages, meaning it must be fully digestible and kind to the teeth. These requirements are fulfilled for the first time ever by Palatinoza. The manufacturing process of Palatinoza is similar to the one of wine, beer or sourdough leaven you need to make bread. It is called fermentation. So what is it all about? We take the pure sugar as raw material and within the fermentation its molecules are rearranged to palatinoza with the help of natural enzymes. This happens all in a one-step process. Palatinoza was discovered when a reduction of the sugar amount within the production process was realized. We wondered how could that happen? What was going on? Looking for answers we discovered the organism. It simply takes the sucrose and rearranges it. The newly generated substance palatinoza gives it a competitive advantage over others because it is the only microorganism being able to make use of palatinoza as an energy source. We call it the squirrel effect because the organism can store palatinoza as food to which it can refer to in bad times. All others can hardly use it. This also means that the idea of better energy being strongly related to palatinoza is based on this natural origin of the product. Better energy includes especially the fact that there is a slow release of energy in the small intestine resulting in balanced energy. Also, the tooth-friendly characteristics of palatinoza are based on this idea. There is another effect called fat oxidation. With the help of the slow release of the energy source glucose, we change the human metabolism. In other words, if you are physically active, for example when doing sports, fat oxidation will be improved as well as the energy expenditure from fat is optimized.
Palatinosa owns its name to the Palatinate where it was found, or better discovered in a region of Germany a couple of years ago. This region of Germany was called Palatinum by the Romans. In other words, it comes from the Romans, as many other things too.